How's it going? Welcome back to Pepper School here at the Garden of Apologies. I am Eric, I am the Barmy Farmer, and today it is cold outside, a little drizzly, so we're doing some fireside. Huh? There we go. Today is also a very exciting episode because what I have for you today are the results of a grow out I've been working on for a few years. The story is, uh, you've probably, as you've been watching this series, you've probably heard me mention the, the pepper box I got from Drew at Pepper North back in 2017. He offered up 20 labeled pods in an overnight uh, ship box for 30 bucks. That's a killer deal. So I bought two of them and I've enjoyed the peppers. One of the peppers in there was a little red pod labeled peach cream. And there's no explanation behind it. And I did some research, and the only place where I could find a peach cream mentioned online was in an eBay ad from Australia that was talking about a peach cream that looked very similar as a cross between a pimenta de naida, which is the purple Brazilian pepper that everyone seems to cross with, and a red ghost pepper, the boot jolakia, that everyone seems to cross with the pimenta de naida. There are so many PDNG crosses out there. My nickname for this pepper right now is a PDNG. Hallow's Eve is a Pimenta de Nida ghost. Pockmark Peach is a PDNG. Testanera is a PDNG. And this, as of yet unnamed pepper, is a PDNG. The reason why it's unnamed is that first year when I took what I appeared to be an F3 based on my research, and I grew out seeds from it a couple of years ago, two years ago, in time for the first heating up the capital. And from that one red pod, I got uh, a myriad of different pepper shapes. So four basic phenol styles. They were all similar looking pods, but I had red, white, yellow, and pink from that one red pod. And so I grew them out again last year and saved the seeds. And I grew them out again this year. And they appear to be stabilizing. So now is the taste test. Because I know what they look like, and I know how cool they are, and I know their background story. I, I haven't met their parents, but I've, I've read about them on the interwebs. So, I've got seven different pods for you today. First off, are the white pods, where I have a small white pod and a large white pod. This guy's all smooth and shiny. This guy's a little bumpy, a little warty. A little bit washed out in the light there. But we're working out this technology. I also have yellow pods. There's the little narrow yellow pod, and I have the big yellow pod. Then, let's see here, my pink pods, here we go. This is a pink pod. This is a very light pink pod. See the difference between the, maybe it's a better light back here, between the peach, this guy here, and then I've got your standard red pod. All right. Let's get right on into this. Okay. So let's start with the white pots. So if you'll join me down here. All right. On our plate with our white pots. These guys over here. So a little guy. And our big guy. And there we go. The two different versions of the same thing there. Yeah. Actually, this is pretty good for color, the way I've got this set up here. So the white background, that works out nicely. There you go. You see you've got a whole lot of seeds in here, which I'm quite happy about. Though I do have some seed pods set aside already. Let's 
get a little bit of the nose on here. It smells fresh and and hot. I'm doing the, the two white ones together because aside from the pod shape, they're pretty much the same thing. I've been through a bit of a preview with these as I was saving seeds, and they are not dissimilar pods. So do the little one first. That's it right there. That's what I'm talking about. And the big one. All right. They both are around a, I'd say a, a low habanero level of heat. It might be that I've uh, I've textured my palate a little bit with a few of these episodes, but I'm not finding this to be an exceptionally hot pepper. It's got a, a definitely kick to it, and it's got a lovely flavor. It's got some sweetness. It's a, a light fresh tasting pepper, hints of uh, like honeydew melon. It's the closest pepper pot I've had flavor-wise to this would be the Ahi White Fantasy. And that is a terrific pot. So flavor-wise, these are very similar. Heat-wise, these guys are quite a bit hotter. So the white ones are cool looking pods. They have a nice flavor. I'd say we're pushing into F7 now. If these grow out as expected next year, then I'm going to call this a cultivar. Let's go for the next. So, let's pair these up again. Join me, if you will, right here for the two yellow pods. Our big guy here. Bust around open. Oh, cut all the way through. The pod opens better. Come on, work your knife, work your knife. Awesome. There we be. And it's companion. So for this, I've chosen pods that appear to be very ripe. I do have other pods that are larger than the ones here, but they don't look as, as ready. So there we go. You're losing a little bit of the yellow here. This pod's picking up a, a little bit of a faint orange, but it, it is really a crisp canary yellow. And the other one's a little bit of a lighter yellow, more of a, a lemon yellow, I'd say. But still. The light in here is washing out a bit of the color. Let's see how we go, how we're doing here. So first off, this is the little yellow. Okay, I chase that with a chunk of the big one. Hey, those are a few milder than the white. Is a a nice flavor there, uh, a hint of a tropical flavor. Very fruity, very sweet. So far, all four of these peppers, both of the color types, have come out with a good combination, terrific flavor. I am quite impressed, quite happy, particularly with the white ones. The yellow ones are a little bit disappointing on the heat, but the flavor is really nice, so there is potential. I'll jump into my least favorite pod next. Nothing really wrong with this pod. It, it is a, it's a good pepper. No complaints at all about the pepper, aside from it being a red pod. And there are so many red pepper pods out there that it gets boring. It's not so many white pods. Or this cool peach over here. Looks a bit like the, uh, 
uh, purple nagas we had a few episodes ago. Steer you right down here for the slice on the rim. Hmm. Nice, big, open-looking pepper there. Looks quite a bit like a habanero, the way I've got it sliced down. Certainly very juicy. That has a lot more heat than the yellow. But the flavor is, oh yeah, the heat's coming. The heat's coming. This is a lot more than I, of what I was expecting heat-wise. <clears throat> Flavor-wise, it's quite a bit like a red bell pepper, which isn't surprising given that, given that it looks quite a bit like a red bell pepper. So that's got an excellent heat, a decent flavor, but the pod isn't sexy. So I don't know. We'll see what we do. Ostensibly, I'm trying to decide which of the seven of these I'm going to grow out. But we all know the real answer is I'm going to grow out all seven of them because that's just what you do, right? Okay. Let's finish up strong here. So we've got our two pink pods. So this guy here comes out on a purple plant. So it's it looks quite similar to the purple naga as it's growing. And this one, with the color wash out in here, it's really hard to see that the color we've got on it, where it's a with a green pod that ripened to a, a light, almost white, with a very very mild pink down one side of it. It's a really neat looking pod. And I'm hoping this is ripe enough to deliver viable seeds. But I won't know that until next spring. So this is the, the very prolific orange pod. And I got four pods of this style. Grand total of four. And it's fairly light on the seed in there, so I'm going to have to make these count. So there you go. You can see, see here, you might get a little bit of the pink color. There, if I slip it shut, just a, just a shade of pink on top, just a dusting down here. And then our peach pod. So... Let's give it peach pod first. Oh, yeah, that's it right there. Nice heat. <clears throat> Decent habanero level heat on it. Maybe a, a little higher than hab. I, I could have residual heat in there from the red pod, but this is a very nice pod. Flavor is uh, it's nice and sweet. It's crispy. And dare I say it, it's a hint of nectarine. That is a keeper. Right there. That is the peach PDNG. I'll need to think of a name for it. I mean, the big white pod, that may end up being called something like a Sasquatch. You know who you are, Mr. Yeti, but Sasquatch is big and white and Canadian, and that name could go. It could. But before we start naming stuff, let me try Pepper 7. And then I've got next spring to grow these out. Let's see what we have. Hmm. 
tastes quite old. <coughs> nice kick. Tastes quite a bit like the peach pie. I like that. I'm going to do that again. Yep. Always cat time here in the Garden of Apologies. It's Meowry and Milo running up the stairs there. But man, that is a nice pod. So both of the peach pods have that kind of a, a nectarine, sort of a hint of flavor to them. A nice sweet fruitiness. I am quite impressed with all seven of these pods. I think they're winners. I am I'm happy with the geni uh, genetics here. As I'm talking here, why don't I show you the peppers? This is what I'm talking about here. These guys have grown up well. I'm very impressed with these peppers. And I'm looking forward to growing them out next year so I can stabilize them. And they might get names. One thing I want to leave you with here before I thank you and point at the subscription and all that stuff. Never, ever name your pheno or name your cultivar. Don't name your cultivar until it's stable. Don't name an F1 hybrid. Don't name an F3 hybrid. Don't, don't, don't sell the seeds. Don't. Stabilize the pepper and then share it. Thank you. <clears throat> but thank you for watching. Thanks for joining me here as we slice up my babies and find out what these guys have grown up to be. I'm very happy with these. If you have suggestions about what these should be named, I'm all ears. Lay it on me. Hey, mister. There we go. Just want to say hello to mister here. He was the first of the cats here. He was 15 yesterday, his birthday, Mr. John Shaft. It is always cat time in the Garden of Apologies. Thank you for watching. If you're enjoying this, please subscribe if you haven't already. Please share it out with your friends. Eat more hot sauce. Play with some cats. I'll see you next time.